test, test, test. This is a terrain making test. Hey there, hope you're all doing good. And the terrain gods bless you. This video deals with the Skullrock terrain. It is about decorating the base and painting this Scully Rockefeller. The rock is made from simple air dry modeling clay, a great material to sculpt and model rocks. So I decided to model some decoration rocks also from a leftover piece of hardened clay. A hobby knife and a clipper are handy tools. Because of its density, carving hardening clay creates great rock-like marks. Clipping produces interesting breaking lines. Clay is really a cheap and versatile material. The new PDF on Patreon deals with the sculpting process of the Sky Rock itself. Time to decorate the base. The base is from MDF wood and arrange all the elements on it. Think about where and what kind of plants to glue to the base. Small ones, or bamboo, or even bigger trees. The base gets covered with a mixture of colored speckling compound. Press stones and plants into the moist mixture to embed them nicely into the terrain. Bamboo or no bamboo? That is still the question. Wood glue and sand at different soil textures. Some of the plastic plants need an extra dip of glue. Try to glue the plants with different height levels in place. It will look less similar and more realistic. Priming the rocks with slate gray. The soil in dark ochre. The leaves with a dark brownish green. That gonna take some time. Washing the rocks with iron oxide black. It is a nice, not shiny black, ideal for washing stone textures. Dry brush with a lighter grey. Clay is really a pleasure to paint. A 
a wash from dark ochre to add some soil colors to the rocks. Followed by a dry brush layer in a beige sandy tone. The soil gets washed with raw umber. Darkening the recessed areas gives the model more colored depths. This is a job for a brush with a nice tip. Soily ground gets dry brushed with dark ochre. Dry brushing with beige to pick up even more highlights. Time to apply some fine turf. Wood glue mixed with fine turf, sprinkled with even more turf. Cracks are potentially moist, so they are a good spot for some moss too. Clump foliage here and there adds more variation. Time to paint the last details that are covered with foliage. A little bit of dark ochre wash here and there to blend soil and rocks even more together. That looks nice already, but... But a final dry brush layer with sandy beige isn't bad idea. and some brighter green to the tips of the leaves. Now we are done. If you like this kind of content, make sure you ring the bell and hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep this terrain train rolling, check out the links in the description below. Follow on Instagram, like on Facebook or become a patron. Link, like and share. In the meantime, we release a monthly layout of PDF tutorial about terrain making on Patreon. You can also find a free PDF as an appetizer. Just follow the links to our Patreon, explore what is going on and download the free PDF tutorial. And maybe you become a supporter. There's a list on tabletopterrainlenny.com where we recommend tools and materials for terrain modeling. This is an easy way to support the channel. If you have any questions or critics, drop a comment. Thank you and keep on making terrain.